Hello and welcome back to another OMSI 2 adventure. Today we're having a little look at the latest V3D bus. It's an alpha by the way, it's not fully released, but it's the Volvo Olympian. A much awaited bus for this particular bus simulation. And we're in the Wilts and Dorset livery today and we're going to be doing the Route 12 to Stonely Harbour. So let's uh, get our blinds on. Might be the next stop we've got to go to. So let's jump in the cab. Got the old Toby eye tracker on today. Head tracking a must with this simulation. Using a Logitech G29 steering wheel. Got the shifter. Not that you need a shifter for this bus. It's not a Leyland Atlantean. Which is what my channel is named after my favorite bus the old good old atlanteans but this is a classic bus too the volvo olympian proper workhorse hi hi yeah. let's have a little look around the bus Nice old school seats, carpeted interior. Very nice. Obviously this is early access. This mod was released briefly on the Discord. And uh, it was quickly pulled back down but if you look hard enough online you will find this bus if you wish to use it but I won't post any links myself so let's have a little drive See what she sounds like, how she handles. Look at this nutter. This is not going to end well. What are you doing, pal? Saint Marie roundabout. Yeah, nice interior. Obviously, it's unfinished. Some of the dials and light symbols are not up and working. We better, uh, we better put our markers on so we know where we're going. I'm running the game at ultra high settings. Highest it can go. My PC specs is an i9. 12900K. Oh my Got a 3080 Ti graphics card. We're in 2K resolution. And I've got 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM running at 5200 speed. And the game's running on the latest M.2 drives that run at 7 gigabytes a second. West Country is a great map, not the best in some places, even on my rig for optimization. But, um, bar the loading glitches that we all get, the hitches where it loads into a new tile, I mean, I won't drop below 60. Shouldn't do. Yeah, 
Yeah, so far, quite a nice bus to drive. Totnis Road. Certainly picks up speed pretty fast. I haven't done an OMSI video in a while because I've pretty much done a video on every map that's decent for Britain. I don't play any other maps, to be honest. I only play UK maps. Obviously, I've tried all the other maps, even some weird Russian ones, but because uh, I'm from the UK, I'd rather drive. UK maps and UK buses. So I think we're all waiting for Gainsborough Phase 4 and the latest West Country update. Certainly taking their time bringing those releases out. Oh, and Arcala. Can't wait for that. That's going to be epic. But we've got a new Alpha bus release so I thought I'd do a quick video and upload it. Just like all the other OMSI 2 creators do, they upload the videos all trying to get there first. Difference is if you want to watch it smooth and decent performance and at ultra settings then you should watch mine. And give me a sub, hit the like. Hello. You know it makes sense, don't you? And plus, I'm not your typical uh, bus nerd, you know? <laughs> Hello. But oddly, I have a secret fascination with buses. I just don't let my mates know. Father was a bus driver back in the 80s for Southampton City Bus and he drove the Leyland Atlantean spent many a time as a child going to work with him on the buses Side Road. and I've even uploaded a series of videos called The Bus My Father Drove where I drive pretty much every UK map using a Atlantean mod bus it's a fleet line that's been sort of converted to the Leyland Atlantium and it's as close as we're gonna get open that window a little bit shall we do the windows open no oh, can't get the window to open for some reason Maybe that's not implemented in this alpha version. Obviously this won't be a free bus when it's fully released. It will be payware, but God knows how much they're going to uh, sell it for. Most of the other V3D stuff was free, apart from the Digibus Phantom. But I barely drive a bus, if I'm honest. Don't really like it. But the Volvo Olympian's always been a classic British bus. Good old trusty workhorse throughout the years. Looks like there's a young lad wanting to get on. Go on, off you get. Bagger off. A little bit of a hitch there. Good old OMSI. <laughs> Cheers, OMSI. Yeah, nice bus. Mm. 
needs a bit more detail adding to the bus, to be fair. I mean, it's not up there with Studio Polygon's renown, for my opinion. Not at the moment. No? Yeah, Mom. Jesus. Looks like passengers have a few issues whilst boarding at the moment as well. But when the bus does release, I will support the uh, V3D team and purchase it from them. It's only right that we should do that. Because I, uh, I do know that OMSI is a heavily pirated game. Every DLC except Omni Navigation is been cracked, basically. I mean, I've been messing with computers since the 80s, so it's my job to know these sort of things. Yeah, I am. I should have gone right back there, but we'll just go round the roundabout. Bit of a loading lag around there. But if you're an OMSI player, you know, that's just part of the course. Shut up. Even with my PC, it's top end. But, uh, yeah. You still get those loading lags. 32 bit game, old architecture. Only uses 4 gigabytes of RAM, providing you use a patch. So, hopefully, one day they bloody sort this game out to work on a 64 bit with modern hardware. Improve the graphics. But as most of you know, OMSI's not about the graphics as such. It's, it's more the gameplay. It's still the best bus simulator for driving physics. Feels great with a steering wheel. Yeah, I mean, look at the passengers. They come on and then walk back to get the ticket. Silly nanas. Guest house paradiso. Your guest house paradiso back there. Obviously named after the... Uh, hotel from the film that was based on the bottom TV series with Rick Mal and Adrian Edmondson. Good old Richie and the Eddie. Eddie. Rest in peace Rick Mal. One of my favourite comedians. Yeah, not the longest route in the world today. One long road ahead. And then we'll be going uphill to the harbour. Oh, what's going on here? There's a bus reversing? I've never seen that before. I've never seen a bus reverse. And that's AI. That's... It's the old uh, Studio Renown, isn't it? It's the Polygon. 
What's he doing then? Let's uh, have a little look. Yeah, it's Studio Polygon. The Renown. Yeah, one of my favourite maps, this, West Country. One of the more realistic looking and feeling US maps. Uh, UK maps, I should say. Well, only four miles to go. There's another Renown over there. They seem to be having problems, I've noticed. I've obviously got them set up to be AI buses. Might have to revert them back to the originals. Looks like they're having some issues with their routes. Dainton Road. I mean, look at the old frames per second at the moment. I'm getting over a 120. So it's a 144 hertz monitor, curved monitor that I'm playing on. <coughs> Excuse me. Games at 1440p. Committed, as Joe Dobson would say. I think Joe Dobson's the only other streamer that I've seen that plays OMSI on a decent rig at a high standard. There's nothing worse than watching this game and it's like a slideshow, you know? Now I understand it's not the best optimised game. I've been there myself, playing on lower end hardware. Crossroads. What you gotta do? What you gotta do? This is one of my favourite parts of the map. This looks proper, like a slice of Great Britain. Just the way the traffic lights in the shops are set up. You know. Dirty old MOT garage over the road. Pretty classy. It's actually a quaint looking game, in my opinion, you know? Something about it is a is a charm to OMC2 in the way it looks. Yeah, I quite like this Volvo Olympian early taste. I think the sounds are pretty good. Hello. Sounds pretty genuine to me. Signet close. Oh, 
There's no one that to stop. We won't stop. Lovely little seaside bungalows. Looks pretty much spot on in terms of the uh, body shape and everything. It's a good job. The old Wilson Dorset livery. I remember Hanson Dorset years ago. So I spent many a time in Southampton's city bus Portswood depot as a kid. It's all long gone now, sadly. I was even there when my uh, my father went on strike with all the boys in the uh, mid-80s. Could have been about 1987, something like that. When all the takeovers came about and Vectis came from the Isle of Wight took over with their blue line brand good old days there's another dodgy renown I was going to do the Scunthorpe map to show this bus off, but my last video I did a drive on Scunthorpe with the uh, Renown, so I wanted to change it up. I thought, let's do the West Country. Scunthorpe in this bus. I mean, Scunthorpe's probably the best map for performance, in my opinion. Your white van man, shadow man in that air, look, shadow bastard. But yeah, I probably won't upload another OMSI video after this until we see Gainsborough Phase 4 or Arcala or the latest West Country update. turn into Stonely Harbour coming up. Water These narrow little streets leading down to the harbour reminds me of like Cornwall, Mouse Hole, little areas like that. And we're coming up to the end of the room. Some dirty old garages. <laughs> and this little bit here with the pub on the corner, this oh. reminds me of the uh, Isle of Wight when you get off the ferry. Sadly, the pub's no longer there when you get off. It cows, but it's very similar. Shout out, moaning. <laughs> Jolly well unacceptable. All right. Come on in, you bastards. Get off. Right. 
So another OMC2 video done and dusted. Make for a nice screenshot there. Well, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. All that good stuff, blah, 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 blah. We all you use YouTube, you know the score. If you like my stuff, just subscribe. If you want to see more stuff on OMC2 and the game being run at a decent level, you know where to come. Thanks very much. Take care, everyone. See you in the next video.